Okay, so we're actually inside my bathroom in my basement. Um, I wanted to give you guys a couple examples of how these access doors work. Now here's one that I made for my sump pump. And inside, you'll see how your sump pump basically is taking up a lot of wasted space. So I built an access panel for the sump pump if I ever had to get inside. And I thought to myself, you know, since this is wasted space, I'll build a shelving unit. So I custom designed this myself and built it and it came out wonderful. Um, when guests come over, we'll put, you know, we'll stack towels up here and it looks really nice, almost like a hotel look. And also you'll see another access panel on the back. That's actually for my sprinkler pipes, okay? So uh, being that we're in Colorado, we have to turn off the sprinklers um, during the winter season. So if you guys have a sprinkler shutoff valve, in your basement, these access doors work wonders as well. So I'll show you here. Okay, to give you guys an idea of what's inside, right here we have our sprinkler shutoff, and then we have the main water shutoff to the main house. Okay, so that's there. So, you know, these are just some ideas that you can do in your home uh, to kind of mask the ugliness, if you will. And I just want to give you guys a couple options. So anyhow, uh, we're going to be going to the customer's house and she has an access that goes to her crawl space and it's hideous. So we're going to make her a nice large access panel so that way um, you can crawl in and out of it. So we'll be doing that in today's video. All right, so to give you a quick breakdown, um, you're gonna need some hinges. At Home Depot, they sell these. And just keep in mind on how the, they open. So the um, inside of the hinge will sit on the inside of the door here. All right, you could use two or three. We also have one of these little locks here. You're gonna wanna add that. And all that does is just snap in place okay uh, they also sell these little wooden knobs you just got to paint them and that just screws right here so we're going to be duplicating that um, for the finish you'll see that it has a slight bull nose finish to it compared to the back maybe that's a better idea right? better shot right there you can barely tell now you can do any kind of finish that you want right here um, so you can leave it square and modern just like that, or you could do a, a slight bull nose on this side. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my router to give it just a slight bull nose finish on it, and it'll look nice. Um, also, on the inside trim, you could do two and a half to two inches. Um, I recommend at least two and a half inches on these, and you'll see why, because the door actually sits up about a half inch over so that way you have a good seal around it okay so keep that in mind when you're building it out All right now the drywall up behind here i don't know if you can see it it's kind of about right there so you can raise and lower your frame however you want now there's two ways to build your frame you could build it as you go on the wall or you could pre-build it outside, which we're gonna do today, and square it up that way as well. So we'll just drive some nails, some brad nails going down and this way to, to, to uh, hold it together. Um, if you want, you could throw some liquid nail in there um, or silicone, but you probably want liquid nail or uh, wood glue. Okay, so anyhow, so we'll be doing that outside as well. These are just 45 cuts. So those are just the little details you gotta do, um, you know, when you're making these doors. So, but yeah, you'll see how this comes in at least an inch on both sides. Okay, so we have a one inch overhang. 
Look what the girls do. like a homeless dog. Charlie, what the girls do to you, you poor thing? Oh, he's a good boy. He is he in jail or is he arrested? What's he, what is it? What are you doing? I'm looking for some stuff. All right. We got Tyson out here joining the party. Hey, Tyson. Say hi, Tyson. What, baby? Look what I found on the garage. It's an ornament. Oh, that's a Christmas ornament, honey? Yeah. Wonderful. Oh. Okay, so we got the whole film crew out here. You gonna hold the camera for daddy? Yes. Oh, thank you, honey. I love <laughs> You're you. You're welcome. I love you. Okay, so the piece in question is this one. Uh, now, I already cut it to size uh, from the job site a while back, so now I'm just kind of catching up on things. Uh, but this is the same piece that you saw down in the basement. It's roughly the same size. So, again, we're going to um, just router the the outer edges here with this router. Um, and again, it's just going to be a bull nose tip. And we're just going to go all the way around it just to give it a finished look. Um, and then we're going to go to Home Depot and get the hinges. We'll probably put uh, three on here, okay? And then we got to get our little wooden knob. Okay, so now we have our two and a half inch pre-cut casing that I did on my table saw. Um, you could probably buy these pre-cut at Home Depot, I'm not sure. So we're gonna be cutting these down. I have the measurements for these and basically we're just doing 45s and it's just like doing a door frame. All right, so we're gonna router this first, but first I need to put my safety glasses on. Okay, you guys are probably wondering what router I'm using. Uh, this is just a Drill Master router. Uh, I think I paid maybe less than a hundred bucks for this, so nothing nothing major. Uh, you don't even need one this size, but it works perfectly. Okay, so the router tip I'm using is by Warrior. This one actually was purchased at Home Depot. And again, this is for my um, round corners or my bullnose finishes, okay? So it's not hard, you'll figure it out. Okay, so let's start cutting. No, you can't eat them. What's up? <laughs> Hi for the video. Okay. <laughs> I hope I take it. Okay, so now you can see a little rounded edge right here and if you want to make it nice and smooth I mean it should be smooth but if you want to get it a little bit you know smoother then just take some sandpaper give it a light rub and it'll look perfect okay so this piece is done okay so next we're gonna be cutting these and again it's just like cutting um, door trim these will all be at 45 degrees to make a perfect square okay so next we're just gonna you want to just dust off the surface before you paint it from all the dust. Uh, the router doesn't kick off a lot of dust. Hey! So they're having fun and daddy's working. That's okay. That's why daddy works hard. Yeah, honey. Hey, Charlie. Hey, we got another visitor. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, Charlie. <laughs> Everyone's outside with Daddy today, huh? Yep. <laughs> okay, so while this is drying, I'm gonna start cutting my 45s for the frame that goes around. So I'm gonna inset this about an inch. Okay, so that's how it's gonna look all the way around, all right? And then we're gonna do our 45s. Okay, so I'm gonna have this piece of wood sit underneath about three quarters of an inch. Okay, just to give it some body. So I'm gonna mark this at three quarters. Okay, of an inch. And then I'm gonna mark it on, so I'm gonna go three quarters an inch from the outside and then three quarters inch from this outside. Okay. 
So basically I have a uh, reference point of, of a square, okay? So bring it in. Yeah. Okay, so I got three quarters of an inch right here from this outside piece and then from this outside, that's three quarters. So I have a 90 degree right here. So basically I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. This is going to be three quarters. Okay. And this side's three quarters. Okay, so I'm gonna come in three quarters. Just to give you guys an idea of how I come up with that. Okay. So in theory, the 45 cut will be right here. So when I measure from inside to inside, or from inside to inside, that's where the 45 is gonna be. Okay, those are your 45 cuts. So again, we marked it here, inside three quarters. Okay, so this, this uh, side cut, will be, zoom in on that, right here. So this side cut, okay, I'm gonna put my measuring tape right here on the corner, and right here on the corner. So this is 28 and a half inches, all right? So we have 28 and a half. So corner to corner. Now, this will be a 45 cut right here. And this is gonna be a 45 cut. All right, so in theory, it'll look just like this. 45 and a 45. So this is my 28 and a half inch piece, okay? And it's gonna be just like that. So we'll go cut this bottom piece and then you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna cut my first 45. All right, so 45. Now I'm gonna take that 28 and a half inch measurement. Okay, so 28 and a half is right here. So you don't get confused. You could just make a mark going that direction. Okay, at a 45. Because um, if you're new at this, you might cut it backwards. Okay. Okay. So again, here's 28 and a half inches. Let me show you what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut this piece twice because you have a top and bottom. All right, so what I meant by that was the idea is it's supposed to look just like this, all right? So again, we have our, our corner piece I was telling you about. So underneath, it's gonna look just like that. And then we're gonna put our side pieces in, okay? So you guys see how it's coming together? And then um, once this piece comes in, like I said, we'll nail it. And this will be like a picture frame. That's what you want, it's a picture frame, okay? So again, just to, so again, just to recap, that inside corner to inside corner, all right, that's where you want this to line up. Now, to make sure that it's square, we're gonna, we're gonna cut this twice. So we have one on this side and one on that side, and then these will be exact, all right? That's really all it is. I'm gonna take it from here to the inside of here again. 25 and a half this time. All right, so we have 25 and a half. This side will be the exact is that side. All right, so we have two 28 and a halves, two 25 and a halves, and it'll be perfect. Two 
So again, we're making a picture frame. To show you guys, I'm gonna put this panel on top. So basically that's gonna be the finish. Okay, so this is the final example uh, when you put the, uh, the finished door on top. So again, you have that reveal all the way around. Now this reveal could be whatever you want it to be. This can come out another five inches if you wanted to. But this is just the basic idea of what it's supposed to look like, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna wrap this up. Um, I put a first coat of the paint on it just so that way it's easier to, uh, to touch up at the job site. So we're gonna knock this out real fast. I got my Lambo warming up right now because I want to go cruising and grab some coffee with my wife and get a car wash. So let's knock this out. So you can use any type of wood glue if you want, not necessary. Again, not necessary, you can to prevent cracks down the road. Um, and if you're out of glue, you can always use white silicone, it's up to you. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting in these two inch brad nails. And the idea is that I'm gonna shoot it from the sides, okay? And it's gonna look like that once the nail goes in. Really simple stuff, okay? So we'll probably put uh, two nails on each side to hold it. And then once we nail it to the uh, drywall, like I said, there's gonna be two by fours on the other side of the drywall. And we'll go over that at the job site. Um, then you're gonna silicone everything on the outside. So this thing will not move, trust me. It will not move, so don't, don't panic. I'm just using a 16 gauge uh, brad nail, brad nail here. All right, so we're just gonna add a little bit of wood glue. So we're gonna just do one nail, so that way we can adjust if we have to. So I got all my 45s nice and tight. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and add um, extra nails on the sides. And again, this will all get silicone and, and filled in and repainted it again with a final, um, final coat once it goes to the job site, okay? So uh, other than that, this is pretty much it. So I'm just gonna hit it with a few more nails. Looking good. All right, so tomorrow we'll take this to the job site. And again, this is just prep work for tomorrow. It just makes it a little easier. All right, now I'm ready to pull the Lambo out and go for some coffee. Okay, so here's the existing access panel door that goes through the crawl space. So we're just gonna give it a quick facelift. All right. So we'll be putting on this new panel with the new frame. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just using this DeWalt uh, brad nailer. I'm using uh, two and a half inch brad nails on 16 gauge. Okay, so everything looks level. Okay, so all I did was divide the main frame in half okay so that way when i put the door on uh, it has equal distances from the top and bottom so it looks all uniform okay um so i divide it in half and then i divided this in half 
Okay, and that gave me the top of this door. So now I can put my hinges um, where I think it'll go on the door. So it's nice and level, okay? So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so we're using these door hinges. I got this handle, all right? Just a screw in handle. And a little magnetic lock. Okay, it just takes two screws. You guys level it off so you don't have a crooked door. And there we go. Okay, so just to recap, um, I came three inches off the top, right? Um, so I would recommend putting the hinges on the, the on the um, the door itself and then place them onto the frame. Okay, so I got three inches from the bottom, three inches from the top. Everything is even all the way around the door frame, even down to the bottom. So again, just find your center and then divide it by what this is, okay? So now we have the door swinging in the right direction, okay? Before it was swinging, um, it was the outside right swing, so now we have a left. So that's how it should be. All right, everything's looking good. So next, we're gonna put our handle on and then we're gonna caulk all the way around it and this thing's done. make sure you center it to this. Okay, so that concludes this access panel install. Uh, you guys can do this at home with just a few tools. Uh, just make sure you guys have a table saw, a chop saw. Um, other than that, it's pretty much it, real simple stuff. And you guys can make your own access panel for your home, your basement, wherever. So if you guys like this, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.